hello everyone in this video i am going to share with you about the concept of conditional probability and i'll also talk about the independent event and we'll see that how the formula will change in that case so let's see first with the help of example to understand this concept so i'm considering 10 stickers over here of three colors where one two three stickers are green in color then four five six seven eight they are red in color that is red in color this is red in color and uh, nine and ten are blue in color so i want to find out for example before i discuss about the conditional probability let us start with the usual way of finding probability if i want to find what is the probability of getting a green sticker out of these 10 so obviously we see that what are the total number of uh, stickers with me they are 10 in number and if i want to find how many uh, green stickers are there they are 3 in number so we can say it is 0 0.3 or you can say 30 percent now let me change the situation if i am again uh, thinking of what is the probability of getting green if it is given that sticker is even now here uh, we are having a assumed information or you can say it is already happened information that if you are having a event already occurred that the that the sticker is even now what would be the probability of getting a green so there is a situation so what we will see first i will see that if even has already happened so there are five stickers of even category it means if 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 we are having a even so number two tickets is even which is green in num color then we have a four six and eight red in color and there is a 10 number sticker which is blue in color now in this current situation if i am looking for the chances of occurrence so i can say that out of five i have to find out what is the probability of getting green so there is only one green which is even so i'll say one by five or you can say there is a 20 percent chance now let me ask if you are looking for what is the probability of getting a red sticker if it is given it is even same i'm taking the same situation now in this case what happened again i know that the my new sample space is the even one so here i have a five now here i have a four six and ten which are red so they are three number you can say there is a 60 percent chance right so uh, you can think that way now what we are observing in my second and third situation i was looking for a situation based or a condition based probability here the condition is that already information of even is revealed that it is even and then find out the green here in the first case what we were thinking of we were thinking of what is the chances of getting green from the whole bunch of these 10 stickers so it is 3 by 10 so in the second and third case what we were handling we were handling a conditional probability why because if you see let let us go through again that we when we were finding probability of a green sticker in that case i was looking for how many stickers are in the sample space and i looked for what are the number of the green in the second and third cases what it was i was looking for that if you are saying it is the even sticker then my restriction is only up to the even so here i start looking for how many green as well as even and they are like here they are one in number so in this case also you can say number of even we started out of and then we start looking for what are the common one red and even so this is called a conditional probability so let us see what do we mean by that 
uh, notation wise we write conditional probability of an event a when it is given that b has happened so here one slash this line is a symbol for given and whatever you write after that it has already happened whatever you write in front it you are looking for that event so there are two events involved in this case we cannot think of a conditional probability for one there are two or more than that so right now in this definition i am restricting only for the two at a time so if a is to be done when b has already occurred it is denoted this way and we want to find out the formula for the calculation we write like that probability of a when b has occurred is equals to probability of b in the denominator and the numerator probability of a and b both that means common and remember probability of b can never be equals to zero it should not be an impossible event if you are saying it is already occurred it means there is an event and out of that we are looking for a so that should not be zero even if you are finding this this way so the formula is a and then you write down a intersection b so here remember probability of a is not equals to zero what you need to remember if you are using the formula here whatever you write after this slash it should be it, it is the new sample space and it is always in the denominator and the numerator is the common one so this way we can use it or even if you are directly looking into the question you can you can apply this formula this is nothing this is n of a intersection b divided by number in b event if you are using this one so you, you can think like n of a and you are finding how many numbers are in a intersection b so you can see in these examples like in this examples we have done now uh, let us see the one case like if we are having independent events and you know that two events are said to be independent if occurrence of any one of them does not depends on the occurrence or non occurrence of other so if two events are independent for example here i am writing probability of a slash b means when b has already occurred if they are independent if a is independent of b then its probability will not get affected it will be same as its own probability original probability from the sample space so here p a slash b is equals to p a let us see in this given uh, situation i have taken a this elaboration of green that is 30 percent 3 by 10 and we have also seen that uh, let, let me write down now in the symbol form you have seen that in the first example i talked about this even now you have seen that it is 1 by 5 means point so if it is a there are two event if i see these two situations here the probability of green is 3 by 10 that means 0.3 and if you say probability of green when one event has occurred that is a even it is 1 by 5 that is 20 if i ask whether selection of green and the selection of green when even is already done so are they independent you say no they are not independent why because their value are not same so if they are independent that is same even if you see this one probability of r when e is done that is 0 0.6 now let me find out what is the probability of r that is a red out of the whole sample space in that case it is um, red i am looking for now so red are 5 in numbers and out of 10 so it is 1 by 2 1 by 2 means 50 percent chance that when you are selecting a red from the whole sample space this is 50 percent chance but selection of red out of even is more in that but here my discussion with you is that are they uh, independent so you can say here uh, red and one event is red uh, sticker second event is even sticker so these two events are r is not independent of v because they dependent and uh, let me see one more case in this case let me see let me change uh, the color and let us see the situation uh, let me rub this the later part okay so here let me find out a blue color what happened here what is the probability of blue probability of blue here is 
इफ इफ आई से हाउ मेनी ब्लू कलर स्टिकर्स आर देर दे आर टू इन नंबर आउट ऑफ टेन यू आर गेटिंग दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी परसेंट चांस एंड इफ आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज अ प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ब्लू वेन यू नो दैट इट इज इवन एंड यू नो हेयर इट इज वन आउट ऑफ फाइव वन आउट ऑफ फाइव मीन्स वॉट वन आउट ऑफ फाइव इज अगेन दैट इज अ ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो यू कैन सी दैट हेयर प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ब्लू वेन ई हैज अकर्ड एंड द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ब्लू आर सेम दैट मीन्स दीज टू इवेंट्स आर दीज टू इवेंट्स आर वॉट इंडिपेंडेंट सो हेयर दिस पर्टिकुलर इवेंट इज इवेंट एट इंडिपेंडेंट बाय बिकॉज इफ यू टेक फुल देन ऑल्सो इट्स चांसेस आर टू बाय टेन दैट मीन्स the 20 person if you are having even the even then also its uh, chances are same so these two events are independent so this way you can calculate you can find out whether they are independent or not let me take one more example here uh, here let let me solve it that there are uh, 52 cards and i want to find out what is the probability of drawing a king when it is given that the card is a heart suit uh, there are 13 heart and there are four kings now you are looking for king out of heart and this is the common one you know this is the common which is king as well as heart that is one in number out of 13 now if you are looking for what is the probability of king probability of king is 4 out of 52 this is also same so if they are equal if that probability is equal it means selection of these two events are independent it means selecting of uh, the if one event is king if one event is king and second event is heart heart card so these two events are independent so this way we can see that uh, you have gotten one this is a formula this formula we can use whenever you want to find out to check whether these two events are independent or not you can use this formula and if you have to find out the conditional probability for that you can use this concept so i hope you have gotten an idea of these two concept conditional probability